Well, basically, what? there are many reasons. You can, yeah. uh, you know, it can be something, you know, think about it in steps. A woman must ovulate, so there are some conditions like polycystic ovaries or premature mm -hmm. menopause yeah. mm -hmm. that may affect the, the actual egg release. Um, in addition, for the female, her as she ages, her eggs are aging, and she does not make a new egg biological freshly. Biological clock. So the biological clock, unfortunately, which I heard you guys talking yeah. about beforehand, <laughs> is, is ticking away. Yeah. And ultimately, um, that will certainly reduce her chances of becoming pregnant on a month-to-month -month basis. Mm -hmm. Following ovulation, the tube must capture that egg successfully, and that is actually through quite an intricate set of manoeuvres, and it can easily become damaged through infection, surgery, you know, basically even just, just um, uh, fibroids, you know, all sorts of gynecological conditions, and endometriosis. Yeah, and, and one of the challenges is that this is not always something that the woman is going to have a symptom of. That in fact, most patients with tubal factor, in fact, there's no symptoms. We, we will age, find it when we actually what test. What age do you recommend women to have children? Oh, when they're ready to have children, I think it's the best Naturally. answer to that question. Exactly. But basically, um, fertility chances are highest in the 20s, um, and they really? will start to reduce in the early 30s, and will, will very much will decline significantly after 35. You're talking so, about women alone, though, but men. Yeah, so, you know, you, you interrupt me there, but the, Sorry, you, yeah. you know, that's okay. <laughs> okay yeah, no. But the, the, you know, and obviously, beyond then tubal pickup, we also have a significant percentage of infertility cases that are actually because of the male, that they're not producing the right number of sperm or the right quality of sperm. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, it's common problem. It, it actually accounts for, for nearly 50% of, of what the problems are. Okay, so okay. And is it sometimes in, infertility caused by lack of compatibility between two? In other words, can a man <coughs> easily impregnate another woman, but he's having problems impregnating No, the, the causes of infertility are, are, are not, it's not a compatibility issue generally. Right. Yes. Um, uh, and and the situation with abortion, I remember as a young girl hearing, you know, um, that there were a lot of women who had several, uh, ab many abortions, children. and then when they were ready to have children, yeah. the fact that they'd had so many abortions, it in fact affected Yeah, well, one of the risks of, of any surgical procedure where the uterus is instrumented, such as an abortion, for example, means that there may be damage incurred because of that and other complications, yeah. um, such as, you know, either damage to the inside of the actual uterus where you have yeah. scar tissue, or more importantly, that an infection can occur as a complication of an abortion procedure where perhaps then she ends up having blocked tubes because of that. Okay. Now, remember that infections of the tubes are common in anyone who's having you know, intercourse with, with, with even one partner. But I mean, certainly the more partners, the greater the risk of infection because the greater the probability that you've incurred one. Okay. So there's infertility problems. You can solve the problems. Pretty much, I think, uh, thankfully, where we are now, as opposed to 1978, where they took many, many goals to achieve the first IVF baby, mm. I think, you know, technology has moved forward with such leaps and bounds that it means that today, as long as we get the woman at a young enough age, the vast majority of couples, um, you know, we will be able to help them achieve a pregnancy. There are very few exceptions. Um, it, it may not happen. I mean, the ultimate design of a clinic is to try to understand the problem, to best design the treatment option that's best for that particular couple.